we know from uh, other events that there is a tension often develops between those differently affected groups. And it's very important that we see this as an entire community event. You don't have to have lost a house to have your life profoundly affected by this fire because it's affected the whole community. Another thing I would say is uh, we know that uh, the big problem long term with disasters is what I call degraded quality of life, that people's lives become totally focused around the disaster and the recovery and the rebuilding and the resettlement at the expense of everything else. The problem is that that's going to take so long that when people come out the other side, if they've neglected everything else, it doesn't all come back again. If we don't maintain our attention to relationships, to our children, to our recreational activities, to our career, to our health, then uh, over two or three years they may suffer irreversible changes. And so many of the longer term problems are not so much to do with the material losses and the material impact of the fire, but to do with the way in which the whole of people's lives uh, suffers and can't get back to where it was. And so it's, it's being aware of this at the early stages and looking ahead and prioritising all of the normal supports that make life valuable and meaningful alongside the tremendous task for reconstruction.